I'm he said and I was wrong. I'm singing this he said wrong song. The most shocking run at Battle of BC was easily Armadillo, the Lucario main from Montreal, getting ninth in winner's bracket all the way and then losing to two amazing players at the end, we're going to go over the best win that Armadillo has ever had, which is Shootone. 3-0. We all know that Shutone ended up doing really well. In fact, I'm doing a video about him later, but this video is about Armadillo destroying Shutone. I did not watch the set. I have no idea what happens. I'm assuming some Lucario stuff, but let's get into it. Okay. So Lucario, I definitely put Lucario super low, hence the little intro thing. Uh, but Armadillo, the best rep of this character for sure. Him, then there's one Japanese one. I don't remember what their name is. Uh, or their tag, but let's see what Armadillo does, because I did not see a single Armadillo set all weekend, I just happened to not be watching. I think when this was happening, I was watching the quad stream. Damn, this, okay, this started off as like a, this is classic Shutone, but also, first stock doesn't really matter versus Lucario, unless Shutone is just going to run away this entire time and not actually fight, um, it doesn't matter. First stock literally doesn't matter versus Lucario, you might as well just run forward because you get Aura. Bro, he's getting sauced. I know this is a 3-0, what the hell happens? I mean, Lucario happens, it, it's, it's Lucario. Aurasphere not hitting, Aurasphere is also like one of the lowest charge shots, so it actually will two frame a lot more characters than the rest of the charge shots. I think Mewtwo's as well, but Mewtwo it has to be like on the down part of the little, you know, uh, parabola that it does. He went to 89. Rage Lucario on a light character is crazy. Again, this is why I don't like Lucario Pikachu for what it's worth. Like, none of the me thinking Lucario is bad is biased because Pika destroys him. I think it's, like, by far Pikachu's worst bad character matchup because it's even. Uh, so, I'm not a fan, but I still think this character is just bad. But, I mean, Armadillo puts in work. Are you going to get the Sedge Guard? Not yet. And there it is. Okay, so Armadillo down 40%, but he does have Aura, up throw, forward air. Was Lucario good in Brawl? He was, like, playable if you didn't run into your really bad matchups, but, like, he wasn't good. Okay, dash attack. I mean, that's sent pretty far. Lucario's dash attack is actually super strong for no reason. Like, not, like, strong, strong, but, like, surprisingly strong for what it is. Yeah, it's just really hard for Lucario to land on Olimar, and clearly, I mean, you got it there. Uh, Nair is going to be an amazing tool, because it's like plus minus zero on shield. What percent was he at here? Oh no, 114 is fine. Okay, so six. To up throw by itself did 15! Because of Aura. Ouch. Yeah, that Nair's gonna be so good in that position. Aura Sphere clipping the platform. Landing on platform is so scary versus Lucario, but also landing not on platform is so scary versus Lucario because then he's just gonna whiff back and... He almost died. Uh, he's just gonna, like, dash back and forward smash you. Like, and again, and this is the thing, right? Like, the, the general power level of this game is crazy because... Unless I see some crazy stuff, I don't think inherently, like, oh my god, Armadillo did well, therefore Lucario's not bad. But, like, it's just, it's just ultimate. Ultimate, everyone's good. Like, he got three little dash over back airs, like, three different times. That's an amazing read uh, by Armadillo, and Shuton is not adapted by going for, like, up airs or anything. Everyone's good except for Ganondorf. Even relatively, Ganondorf's pretty good. So, again, Shuton had a huge lead there. The thing is, you do have to, like, play passive versus Lucario when you have a stock lead and he's at, like, zero. You have to play, like, run away. Because, like, I don't think Armadillo gives any... He doesn't give a damn about this. Because he's just farming Aura. Like, he's not expecting to win neutral over and over and over again. He's expecting to get hit and then win neutral, like, three times when he's at 160. Like, that's all he's doing. Which is correct. That's how you're supposed to play the character. Which is funny because, like, people can... Um, like, you get conditioned by thinking, like, Oh, I'm beating this Lucario up, haha. -ha. And you can't think that because... It's kind of on purpose, like, they can purposely play bad and, like, condition you thinking that you're good, and then just be like, nope, which is interesting. What the f- did he turn around grab? How did he do that? That was a lot of damage. He's winning! A Lucario is winning! Getting a bunch of hits, not in aura. How do you cancel the aura sphere charge? I don't know. I'm assuming you just, like, tap shield, and then you can turn around, but you don't actually get shield or something. Nice parry by Shuton, though. 
I think the hardest thing that it's going to be for Armadillo to land is side B. It's so hard to grab all of our dude. Dude, Armadillo is flying all over the place. He's just jumping. Nice recovery. That was so good. I actually love how uh, Lucario's recovery works. When I have to play Lucario, I find it so fun. Oh yeah, you can counter those Pikmin. Nice parry by Shoe Tone. Yeah, it doesn't get the tech chase. Techno is pretty safe there, uh, considering Shoe Tone had purples. So like not a lot of range on tech away. Yeah, that's gonna be a spot dodge. He got the side B because uh, Shoe Tone tried to punish the Lucario thing, which you should know you're not supposed to try to punish. Ow, that was 32. He's at death percent at the ledge. He has no Pikmin. He's fucked. He does not make it back. There's no, yeah, he does not make it back. He was at 60. <laughs> this was this was a great advantage state in my opinion. This is like this is the power of Lucario, right? The power of Aura. It's that one Nair can be so much, and Lucario's Nair down tilt is actually insane. <laughs> like it's really good. It does 21. Oh, it's so silly. Great stuff by Armadillo though. Again, fish for your win condition, right? Like not as an insult, just like this is how Lucario is supposed to be played, and Armadillo is doing it really, really well. Dude, literally this one read, this one interaction, has got Armadillo, what, four stocks now? Like, you can't let Lucario jump all over you like that. It is a, it is a big no-no, and Armadillo recognizes that Shutone isn't aware of this, and he's just doing it over and over and over and over again. Oh, the dash attack not gonna true combo there. A little bit of damage. Back air seems really good for getting Pikmin off. I mean, I guess it depends on the space, like where the Pikmin are latched on you, because I love Olimar. He's trying to cheese him. You know why he did this forward smash? A hundred percent. It is to, he like, he saw the blue Pikmin. He's like, I'm gonna cheese him if Shutone tries to land here. This is going to extend the hitbox, but Shutone knows a little too good for that. There's the tech away punish, but it's only dash attack, like such a way weaker punish than teching in or teching in place. And yeah, that back air is just putting in work. Love that air dodge. I feel like a lot of people do get caught by, um, oh, what a side B. I feel like a lot of people get caught by like these just errant purple Pikmin throws. Uh, really great air dodge because every single time someone gets hit by that, it means Olimar gets to land on stage and pluck Pikmin and be completely fine. Uh, but if you avoid that, suddenly you're like edge trapping Olimar, which is, this is by far his worst position, like period, by like a lot. So great stuff right now, and then the side B, of course, because you're like, you scare Shuton with the back air and the horror sphere and the forward smash, and you've been back airing so much to so just run up side B. Beautiful. And again, Armadillo's been known for a while if you're like in the know about the niche characters, but just like, it's so hard to be consistent. Also, he doesn't travel a ton as far as I'm aware. So this is clearly his breakout run. And again, Shuton is one of the scariest opponents in the world as we saw in literally the rest of the bracket. <laughs> so this is fantastic. Such a good back air, oh my God. He's on, he's dead, he's dead. Don't hit him, don't hit him, don't hit him, don't. He made that back. I'm sorry. Shuton not giving up. But again, every time you hit Lucario before you get him to death percent, this is just like, hey, now back air kills. Hey, up air kills. Hey, all these things kill now because you have more percent. Obviously you have to do that because that's how you win. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go Pyro Mithra. I feel like Pyro does really well versus um, Lucario. Oh, that was hell of a punish. He just, that was a flub by Shutone. That's like the first time I'm gonna say like, oh, he messed up. Oh, he's dead, he's dead. He's absolutely dead, like 100%. I'm a liar, chat, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you do? I mean, you have to get up attack, right? Like the, the only option here that beats the hold is get up attack, but if he recognizes the get up attack, he just shields and then you die. So great stuff by Armadillo. Honestly, really, really good. Dude, people told me, like, I asked uh, in, in chat, I was like, yo, did did Armadillo pop off when he won? And everyone's like, yeah, dude, the pop off was fierce. He's just happy. He was, he's like, yes, I did it. That's not a pop off. That's like a, that's like a victory jump. Those are two entirely different things. I'm kind of surprised it didn't pop off more. Like, I'm like, yes, like, that's not a pop off. Sora popped off more than Armadillo did. Like, that's a pop-off. This is not a pop-off. We love victory jumps? Yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just, that's not a pop-off unless he does it here. He's happy. He played that great. I'm gonna try to find a second one of his sets, and if not, then you'll see the outro. Okay, so Lucario versus, how does he win Lucario versus Shotos? 
Oh. Well, you do get you. Oh. Oh no. God damn it! That was my genuine reaction. I love this side B to edge guard. That is so cool. And then counter the shore you. That's so cool. And he goes under. That didn't kill. How did that not kill? Also, again, I'm tr I'm trying, chat. It's it's as good. That's as good as I can get for the quality. I promise. Yeah, that Nair is ridiculous on shield. And it's actually going to stuff out the Shoto pressure, which is interesting because not a lot does that. Yup, you're dead. Oh my god. Seems hard to get a lead back if you're playing like super smart. The fact that that combos is ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't Andres FN one of the best Shoto players? Yeah. I would say he's like top five at least. Under? Nope, that's a really good ledge hang. Not going to get the hit there and... When Lucario spirals, you know that's a problem. Because, like, if he gets a lead at the beginning, uh, like this, it's so hard to bring it back because now you have to go through an entire stock and aura. And granted, you have less aura when you are up stocks. But, like, event, you're just going to get hit slowly but surely. You know what I'm saying? Is Aura Sphere greater than Charge Shot? The projectile itself, no. But it does have the body hitbox, but also... It, it's hard, like, giant, or like, Aura Sphere with Aura, yeah, but Aura Sphere doesn't always have Aura, so I can't say yes. Armadillo was the highest placing Canadian player at the tournament? Oh, damn, that's true, because Riddle's got 17th, and ouch, and uh, Big D didn't make it to day three. Damn, that's true. I love that Armadillo's not scared to go off stage. I love Edge Guarders. Yep, there's that. Ooh, what a down air. That chasing was so good. Let's go, Lucarmadillo. Oh, he goes Terry. I do think Terry does better, but I don't. I, again, I don't know what the set count is. I just know Armadillo wins because he wins this to get to Shutone. Yup, gonna two frame that. You're dead. You're dead. Again, just as a reminder for everyone watching, when Terry does the up B, that is the charge up B, he actually didn't do the charge up B then. It's really easy to two-frame him. It's basically just a mix-up of are they going to do the charge up B or not, uh, but you can two-frame both pretty easily. Look at the pressure. I don't know if that was an on-purpose backward side B. And then you still have the ability to do counter on the recovery. Great SDI. Oh my god, by Armadillo? Okay, there we go. The single down tilt, yeah. Like, it feels like Armadillo's really solid fundamentally, uh, but he can just throw risk-reward a little out the window because he doesn't. it doesn't matter if you get hit at low percents as Lucario because you're, you're gonna get uh, Aura, right? So it's kind of like when you... Oh yeah, Plant also got 33rd. How'd that happen? Like... It's kind of like when, when Steve players will like risk reward their stuff because the reward is so good in terms of like, oh, just like up tilt, you get 60. And Lucario kind of does a similar thing where he's like, I'm just going to keep hitting buttons aggressively. And if I'm wrong, I get aura unless you're at death percent. Because uh, also like it's pretty hard to keep Lucario in disadvantage because he has like great airspeed, beer reverse, his uppies really tricky. Um, so like it's not easy in that regard. Like, what percent was he when he got hit? Yeah, 70. Look at the ball. Not even close like that. He's mega dead. 2-0. Against characters that can kill, too. The SDI of Armadillo is crazy. You can't even, re uh, like, reliably get things like down tilt into Sh Shoryu. Probably is Ryu, because his SDI has been insane. And he's, he comes out with a lead, dude. He's winning at the beginning. That's very different than the shoe tone set, which I know is probably the, the more impressive set, obviously. But uh, not to disrespect Andres, just, you know, shoe tone or shoe tone. But, like, not getting killed by early percent Shotos is really impressive. The air mobility is putting in a lot of work. Oh, I, I did see that. I remember this. I remember seeing this live. I wonder if this getup attack was on purpose. Because if it is, he's a genius. This getup attack was invincible on the Shoryu, and it put Andres off stage without a double jump, without resources. So then he just got countered. Like, so good. That was a ridiculous play. Finally getting like a normal percent Shoto stock. How's Aura different? Aura stacks with Rage. But also it affects his um, shield stun, and it also affects his uh, size of the Aura Sphere, and size of the side B. Dude! 
His SDI is insane. This might be the best SDI I've seen. Look at this. He gets up tilted, what? Up tilt, strong up tilt, crescent kick. He can't get up aired. Are you serious? Oh my god. Armadillo? He, had to go, he has to have good SDI to beat Sora. I mean, that's fair. And back air on the recovery because he tracked him low, so he couldn't go too low. Otherwise, he would just get countered on his up B. Again, I think Lucario, when he has aura, or if you're just outplaying the shit, again, you can outplay the shit out of people with literally any character. But, like, Armadillo's looking frustrating. And again, it's not someone I personally want to fight because I don't like that matchup. I would absolutely not go Pikachu against him. I would absolutely I would play the hell out of me, Brawler. Um, this looks terrifying. Oh, but he's dead. There's no he makes that back, right? Counter? No counter. He goes for downer instead. Again, his neutral is weaker than the other charge shot characters just because Aura Sphere is not as good of a neutral tool as charge shot and uh, Shadow Ball are. But like, it, oh damn, it, he did not need it. I mean, it's still good like sometimes, but it's not the same type of good, I guess, if that makes sense. Bro, he played so well. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. Armadillo played amazing. Again, getting ninth at Battle of BC5 with two amazing wins. I don't know the other wins he got, but like he should be really proud of himself. Ninth at a P-tier tournament. Maybe the biggest, second biggest, third biggest at worst event uh, of this season. Crazy. So good. Oh my god. That was what? Wow, I'm like I'm just I'm just I'm just impressed, honestly. Like that was very impressive. If you it, Armadillo, if you want to shit talk me because I think Lucario is like bottom five, that's fine. I understand. It's fine. It's fine. You're good. I I, I give you approval. <laughs>